So I've kicked off my next project, Cross versus Gravel, where I'm doing an in-depth comparison of a pure dedicated cyclocross race bike and a gravel bike. I'm going to talk about how they ride for cyclocross and mainly how they ride on gravel roads. So I posted another review to kick off the project where I really talk about it, so I'm not going to rehash what I said in that video. In this video, what I want to do is just simply show the bikes up close that I'll be using for this project. So in the left corner of Cross versus Gravel, we have the Giant TCX Advanced Pro 1. This is a 2018 model Giant's top of the line cyclocross race bike. So this is, a, of course, a carbon frame, carbon fork. It has SRAM Force 1, and it is an 11 speed. It's got an 1136 cassette and a 40 tooth front chain ring. For wheels, we have carbon wheels. Uh, carbon wheels, like I've said many times, are very quick and precise and light, and they are not the most comfortable set of wheels, uh, but they are fast. And then we've got the Swabby G, uh, X1 tires, which is a pure dedicated cyclocross race tire. It is a, I believe, a 33C tire. And so perfect for cyclocross racing, um, really good knobs, uh, good for a wide variety of conditions. It also uses Giant's defuse seat post. This is a seat post that is not perfectly round. Uh, they've kind of flattened the back of it. And in theory, what that does is it allows the seat post to flex uh, to absorb bumps. And in the right corner, we have the Niner RLT9 RDO dedicated carbon gravel bike. This is the three-star build, which comes with SRAM Rival. Now I can say that just by kind of testing both of these component groups, they shift. I mean, if you had to put a blindfold on me and have me shift the bikes, I wouldn't know which one I was shifting. The Rival is gonna be a little bit heavier than Force, but so far, performance is about the same. So like I said, it is carbon, just like the Giant TCX. It's a carbon frame and carbon fork. Both of these have carbon steer tubes. Now this bike has aluminum wheels. And so let's get into what would make this bike more comfortable than the cross bike in theory on paper, so to speak. First of all, the aluminum wheels. So aluminum wheels have a little bit more flex than carbon wheels, uh, which not so good on cornering but good on bump absorption. So whereas the cyclocross bike is designed for lots of cornering, uh, switching lines quickly, the gravel bike is more designed for just hammering gravel roads. So I prefer aluminum wheels, and that should make this bike more comfortable. Also, the tires are bigger. So these are a 38C tire. Uh, Niner actually says that when you install these, they kind of measure out to 40C, uh, whereas this is a 33C tire. So this extra volume is also going to add to comfort. So more flexible wheels, more volume in the tires. Also, this bike has a sloping top tube. So that does a couple things. For comfort, it allows more of the seat post to extend from the frame. So this carbon Niner seat post has some flex to it, just like the giant seat post. And the more seat post that extends from the frame, the more it can flex and the more comfortable it's gonna be. Also, like I mentioned in the review of this bike, the first look, it also has a flatter top tube. In other words, the design of it, not, not the way it extends to the seat stay, but actually the way it's cut. So uh, this allows for the top tube to flex a little bit, so it makes it a little bit thinner. And also the seat stays are thinner and smaller, so that should add some flex where you need it to absorb bumps. And then Niner does have a thicker down tube and a thicker chain stay, and so that allows the bike to be stiff when you crank, but again, with a thinner top tube and seat tube, it should make the bike, make the bike more comfortable. Also adding to the ride position comfort are these handlebars that flare out a little bit. Now, like I said in the first look of this bike, I was a little skeptical, but after just getting in kind of a real brief ride after I built up the bike, I get, got real used to these bars uh, with the comfort. So it kind of puts your hands in a little bit more of a natural position. So that helps, uh, like I said, with the comfort and the, the, the drops flare out a little bit as well. And I can say just by riding these on, I would call it a test ride, it was only about an hour, uh, it's a real comfortable position when you're on the drops as well. So that'll wrap up this video where I just show the bikes that we'll be using in the cross versus gravel project. 
Like I said, I did a kickoff video where I talked more about the project and the questions that I'll be trying to answer as I test these bikes over the next few months. So if you have not watched that one, I'll link it below if you want to go check it out. So as always, questions or comments, go ahead and drop those below. Thanks for watching.